everyone and welcome to the Those Nights at Fred Bear's No Flashlight Challenge. Now this is something I wanted to do for the 1k sub special because this game is what really kicked off my channel and so I wanted to return to it with a fun little twist and that twist is, well, you can't use your flashlight. Now, you might be wondering, Mike, why is this difficult? I mean, just turn the brightness up. Well, let me explain. Basically, the flashlight is not only used to see where you're going so you don't run into Big Boy Fredbear, but it's also used for plush trap. Because if he's running around on the ground and you shine it at him, he'll sit down for a bit. And if you're shining at him while he's sitting down and he gets up to move, he'll run away from it. Now this allows you to use the gen camp strat, as I like to call it. Which basically means you could just sit in the generator room. The only animatronic that randomly roams into there most of the time is Fredbear. And if Fredbear roams into the generator room, you could just get plush, put him on a shelf, and wait for him to leave. The reason you use the flashlight so much is because if you pick him up, you risk getting bit. And if you get bit in that room, you're not catching him at all. He's gonna get the generator and Big Fred Bear's gonna walk in and bend you over. I mean, kill you. So that's what makes this so difficult. We just can't use the flashlight to stun plush, meaning we have to pick him up and put him on the shelves and risk getting bit every time we do. That's where the challenge comes in. It's all because of this little shit. I'm not gonna lie, I've been stalling majorly when it comes to this, but uh... Okay, now real quick, I wanna come in here and say that I'm going to be skipping night one and two for this because it's not really that different. It's pretty easy. I think I beat both yeah, of them on my first try. Yeah, since, but since the challenge really starts on night three when Plush Trap gets introduced, uh, that's where I'm gonna start the challenge from. So yeah, you're gonna be, start being a pain. I'm just gonna go back to the stage, I guess. This is where I'm like kind of forced to roam around. This is where I gotta start, like, actually being more strategic instead of just flailing around the whole pizzeria. See, that's also difficult, is, like, picking him up while he's running. Normally, I flashlight him to stun him and then pick him up. But... I gotta let my cat out before he scratches my door down. Give me a sec. I wonder if I, like, leave random doors open if they'll think oh, I've been, I'm, like, there. Like, if they see a random door open, will they go into it, realizing that it was closed before? Like, is that a legitimate thing I could, like, do in this game? I feel like Gen Camp would kind of work in this, these earlier night. In this night, at least. I feel like I'm gonna have to use a mix of Gen Camp and Free Roam. Like, I'm gonna have to Gen Camp when Fredbear activates, but Free Roam when he deactivates. So, like, I think Gen Camp could still work with just some tweaking. And it's probably going to be my best bet if I want to beat this. Every time I pick up Plush, I could go cycle him to the other shelf. Because I think putting him on different shelves each time kind of resets his, like, bite chance. Because I know, like, the second time you pick him up after he jumps off a shelf you picked him up from. Or, like, if you put him on a shelf and he jumps off and you pick him up again and put him back on that shelf... Then, next time he jumps off on 420 at least, he's guaranteed to bite. Yep, hi. So, I think Gen Camp might still work. I might as well experiment on the earlier nights. So I know he's slower when you're looking at him. Why does he do this? <laughs> what causes this? I don't think it gives any kind of disadvantage, but it's kind of funny. Dude, you're like the star of this challenge, plush. Because it's you that's gonna cause me the most problem. Stall him out. Ow! No, no. See what I mean with the bites? Uh oh. <laughs> I, I, I got a little excited for a second. I thought he was gonna leave me be. There. Can you like do Amazingly. something? Get moving. I'm 100% gonna run into Bonnie. Okay, I gotta hurry. 
Dude, if I get spotted by Spring Bonnie, it's over because I'm not going to be able to get there in time. Okay, I got to run. Oh, gee, 15. Let me just do a quick little peek. Let's make sure no one's here. And there we go. That's night three. Jeez, dude. I don't really want to deal with Fredbear. Back into this hellhole. Okay, this is where I'm going to start experimenting with the gen camp. Because once again, I feel like that strat can work. It's just a matter of like adjusting it in a way so that plush trap doesn't kill me. Because he can kill me from biting. I think if I just chill in here, Spring Bonnie won't notice me. Nope. Bye. Adios. That means they don't have any reason to check this room. So I should be good until Fredbear. Then I just got to deal with plush. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do 420 mode in this challenge. I'm going to try a few times, but if I try too much and don't get anywhere, I'm just not going to do it because plush trap bites you way too much in that mode. Okay, so come for, I'm going to yank, I'm going to yoink plush and then go... Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? I've never had that happen. Oh my god! What? Yo! Dude, that should be a trophy. Escaping when the power's out. And night five. as like the last night I per do. tradition at this point, I fucked up the recording. And I didn't record game audio, so yeah. This challenge. Sorry is about that. Easy so far. Done. Shit. Anyways, I'm being fucking chased by the Terminator right now. I've completely gone the wrong way. I have no clue where I'm going. Ah, I got stuck on a wall. Okay, I was too slow. I gotta make it. I gotta make it to the gen room before 17. Actually, I'm gonna sit in the bathroom and hope they don't see me. I think Fredbear. Just went back to sleep. Now it's just a matter of staring at this guy and hoping he doesn't bite my cock off. Don't. I hate when he- I hate when he runs because it's so hard to pick him up while he's moving. Okay, next time he jumps, I'm gonna go put him on that other shelf. Just to try to reset him. Shit. <clears throat> okay. Now it's time to pray. The praying didn't work. He defaults to that shelf, so I'm gonna fill the- My bad. So I'm gonna fill this up real quick, because I should only need to fill it up this once. Someone tried to catch me lacking, and they almost did. Trap bites you, it's just GG's. Because with- with- with the fly- I would like to apologize <laughs> for all the ankle breaks. Why is Spring Bonnie being so persistent in checking this room? I don't know how smart- I don't know if they're, like, smart enough to, like, notice that they left a door open and it's now shut. I don't know if they're that smart, but I- I know the AI in this game is pretty damn smart. I'm gonna put him here so he doesn't get mad. What? <laughs> huh? How did I place him down? Wait, what? How did I put him on the floor? You're not supposed to be able to do- Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are we doing, plush trap? Okay, I think he got offset and he, like, got placed on the floor, but it thought he was on the shelf. I wonder if I, like, stand in front of the generator if he'll, like, advert to the shelf. I doubt it. You. You. Hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna reset him, then I'm... I'm gonna get on the stage and real quick just to make sure no one's camping at that door. Yep, go bite that generator. I don't give a damn. Ah, uh, cuz I beat the damn challenge! Yep, goodbye! Let's go! So, there you have it.
it is in fact possible to beat those Knights of Fredbears without the flashlight. This was honestly easier than I thought it would be. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.